Hey guys, how you doing? JP Sarikolia here. If there's a company that is so chill with the work that it, they just do their thing, they don't care about other people's opinions, they don't care about the competition as much, they care, but they don't care to the point that they're going to change their, their own plans, they're gonna do what they need to do, it's XM Studios. Those guys are, are you know phenomenal. I love their work, I love the chill attitude they have, even in social media, they're cool, they're nice guys. And I love everything they're doing uh, with the DC stuff, with the Marvel stuff, and also with the Transformers stuff. Now, they're right now, they have two pieces on pre-order. One, the, the pre uh, it was extended, the period, uh, for the next two weeks, which is Bumblebee. Looks amazing. They also have a Grimlock on pre-order. So in this video, I want to talk about these two pieces, the good and the bad, what I like, what I don't like, and ultimately let you know you need to add them to your Transformers collection or not. So in the next couple of minutes, stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm here at the XM Studios website, and I will have the link in the description for those who are interested. And here are all the Transformers uh, products that they have created so far. Uh, three of them, the orders are, are closed now. You have the Megatron, Optimus Prime, and Starscream. But right now, they have opened uh, Bumblebee and Grimlock. So we're going to talk about these two pieces. We're going to start with Bumblebee first. And these are only available in Southeast Asia, uh, only available in China, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Macau, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, Taiwan, Thailand. Unfortunately, the only way for you to get it if you're in Europe or in North America, in Latin America, or in Japan, it's through a third party. So there are companies that actually provide that service. You have to go through them. But here you can see the retail price in Singapore dollars is $1,599. You're a member of the Prestige Group, which is the club uh, XM. You get a 5% discount. I think it's $1,439.10 Singapore dollars. Uh, if you pay the deposit, the deposit is $500. And then, of course, you can pay at the end when everything is ready to ship. And it's pretty cool. So let's read the information that we have here. XM Studios is excited to present our next Transformers Premium Collectible Series statue, Bumblebee, immortalized in amazing detail, 110 scale cold cast porcelain. Each basically handcrafted statue is individually hand painted with the famous XM quality finish. Crafted from scratch, every knot, bolt, and wire is lovingly designed and sculpted ground up by a team in mad love with the Transformers G1 era of cartoons. Inspired by one of our childhood favorite 80s cartoons, we took the G1's iconic form design and Xmize it then with modern details to better fit in today's expectations of sophisticated robotry design. We have spare no effort and designing these original pieces took our core team almost two years resulting in an amazing balance of retro beauty with sleek modern details what's a transformer without its alternate mode yes this statue comes with a companion statue the vehicle mode so collectors can enjoy the beauty of both uh, bot and alternate mode at the same time and the description part of the autobot army on um, cybertron on earth bumblebee is one of the smallest autobots brave and friendly he befriends humans easily one such human is spike with wiki his best friend and one of autobots humans allies and here on the Bumblebee Premium Collectible statue features, you got the Bumblebee with Spike in Exo suit fighting side by side. Two head sculpts for Bumblebee, one with battle mass and one without. One Bumblebee vehicle mode, light up eyes for Bumblebee, which is nice. Bumblebee can be displayed by itself without Spike. Cybertron theme inspired base, crafted from cold cast porcelain, limited edition. Pre-order early bird giveaway, first 30% of orders, get exclusive display plaque. Below is an example of display plaque that comes with Optimus Prime. So normally some people love this plaque, they're super cool. I wanna say that they're a must, but if you want to have it, then of course, then go for it right away. And the artist, you have uh, Kingston Chan, a Studio Hive, as usual. They're the ones involved with XM and all this production stuff. Christopher Lacau and Suhiren Yato Hadmaya, they are the sculptors, XM Studios Design and Development Team. And as you can see on the specifications, we have 32 centimeters in length, 48 centimeters, I think, is base, which I'm guessing they're talking about the depth, and 40 centimeters in height. So this is pretty tall in comparison to a, anything that is 110. So it has a nice size, so it's a, a, a bit taller than the, your average 1-6 scale statue, like, you know, regular 1-6 that we have. Uh, you have to keep in mind that this is the robot, you know, in this case, the Bumblebee is not a small character. So it's pretty tall in comparison to other statues, and that really explains the price point as well. 
And, and the vehicle mode specifications, the size is 25 centimeters in length, 10 centimeters in the base, and 9 centimeters in height, which is an average one thing, kind of like an Iron Studios height. So it, it's pretty much uh, it's standard. Now, looking at these pictures, this is an amazing piece for sure. I really love the detail that we have here. Again, this is not, I would say, 100% the cartoon it takes inspiration from it but it gives it its own twist you know xm does its own thing which in my opinion this is the signature style of xm and i, I really love the pretty much the action pose i'm a big fan of the idw comics so this is pretty much on the same vein as you can see love of this nice i think this is going to be the perfect angle to display right there in front of it that's super cool love that and of course the companion with it the destruction there the cybertronian destruction there that's cool different angles really love it you know i've always been more of a transformers uh like an action figure type of person i really love action figures that transform not necessarily always been into the statues but i've seen that there's a lot of collectors out there that they love transformer stuff they love you know statues for transformers and actually companies have been doing terrific uh with it and i i think xm is really giving um uh, really a lot of quality to it so if you really want more like the cartoon style then you go for like something like pcs collectibles but if you want something more modern in style definitely xm is the company that does that we'll look at the base cool and i love the fact that it has two interchangeable portraits this one has like a more like a battle mode type of thing with the mask with wiki right there that's a cool thing with the exo suit that he's wearing and here's a more classic portrait that's super nice this is definitely a very cool looking piece it comes with lido features like you can see right there that's nice love the symbol there it's a lot of detail definitely a lot of it's small detail so nice job by xm with this prototype for sure look at that lido feature there also here is the auto the classic <laughs> false wagon that's pretty cool man that looks nice nice beetle right there that's very nice definitely this is a, a piece that um it just has so much beauty in my opinion it just looks great and um yeah the price is not for everyone this is really expensive and you know but if you are really a top you know hardcore top collector for um you know transformer stuff definitely this is in my opinion a must-have now we're looking at Grimlock, and before we get into the details, I forgot to mention on Bumblebee the edition size. It's 258 pieces worldwide, which is extremely, extremely limited. So if you're interested on that piece, you better jump on it right, right now before it closes the pre-order season, and or even it sells out before that time, uh, and then you're going to be out of luck and you're going to have to go through the aftermarket for it. Uh, but the Grimlock, the edition size is 399 pieces worldwide. Uh, the retail price for this in Singapore dollars is $2,499. And the prestige price is $2,249. Leader of the Dinobots, Grimlock is one of the strongest of the Transformers. Powerful, fearsome, and merciless. Grimlock chose to fight alongside the Autobots. Now, the Grimlock Premium Collectible statue features two right arms, one holding his sword, one holding a spike mace, two left arms, one holding blaster, one left arm, one Grimlock in his dinosaur, Tyrannosaurus Rex mode, light up eyes for Grimlock, Cybertron theme inspired base, crafted from cold cast porcelain, edition size 399. The artists, we have Andrew Griffith, uh, Suhiriato, Hatmaya, Frederick da Daus is the sculptor. Now, in the dimensions, the product size is 105 centimeters in length which is over a meter 80 centimeters uh i suppose on the the width the, the base 80 centimeters in height which this is a very very tall piece it is not small it is on the one ten scale yes but it is not a short piece you know because people sometimes when they think about scales they already have in their mind like a, a statue from the iron studios like a, the basic iron studio statue but this is larger than that because it's proper scale. So, yeah, this is larger than a 1-4 scale statue. Uh, it is almost as tall as a, I would say, almost as tall as a 1-3rd. If not taller than some 1-3rd. 
uh, but yeah, it is, it's pretty cool. And the vehicle mode also had the size 25 centimeters in length, 30 centimeters in the base, 17 centimeters in the height. It weighs 1.5 kilograms for the dinosaur, but it weighs 47 kilograms, which is super heavy uh for the uh, in this case for the transform version for grimlock in his full form which in my opinion is amazing and this is going to be super expensive to ship now looking at the piece uh, it looks amazing it looks great i love the design it reminds me of the war for cybertron follow cybertron video games the design so I, it seems to me that they took some cues from that and also from some of the idw comics and i like that uh a lot of detail love the different poses with the arms you can do certain things it is a nice pose for sure and this is the dinosaur form now the only thing i feel that the dinosaur is a bit too small in comparison uh, i feel that they they could have just go a bit higher but yeah bigger but if you have something so big then you have two two statues and that could be a problem for display so they decide just to create something smaller just for for the look of it just a, a reminder the, of the transformation as you can see and uh, it looks great it, yeah, it does have the feel of the video game for sure. It looks like Grimlock in the video game. Look at that. Really love that. Love the different arms with the different weapons. Now the close-up. Very nice. You can see all the paint job, the detail. They did a fantastic job on all that. The base. Maintains the same team that they have followed so far. It's a nice looking Grimlock for sure. The light up feature, that's a nice touch of what they're adding to this piece. It really adds the extra quality, in my opinion. It makes it more unique. Because so many companies, they, they, they don't really add up. And this definitely adds to the price tag, but definitely adds to the uniqueness of the whole concept and the statue itself. With the weapon, with the blasters, with the mace. That's cool. Very nice. The whole piece looks sick. You know, the whole detail. Love that, all this, mechanized parts, fantastic job. This is gonna be huge, uh, huge and, and heavy for sure. 47 kilograms, that's a lot. Look at that. It weighs more than a baby, you know, that's for sure. It weighs more than a kid, you know? But definitely, I really like this piece. It's so much I can say about it. Uh, it's, just, it's just the quality of it. It's just so much stuff that they added to it, the detail. This is the, the ultimate Grimlock, in my opinion, unless you want to go for the action figures, which is another option. But man, um, they did a terrific job with it. Really love every picture so far. Um, definitely, this is not for everyone, but if you can afford it, if you are into it and you can afford it, then definitely this is a must have. Well, guys, there you have it. These are great pieces, you know, no doubt about it. Yeah, they're not for everyone. The price point might hurt, but. They, they look great and of course you know xm always does its own thing they just not you know the company that is going to do the pretty much the cartoon animation it's gonna just resemble the og stuff 100 percent. they're going to give them their own flair you know their own flavor and i like that because transformers is more than just the cartoons that came out in the 80s you know transformers has evolved over the time over the years right now we have the show on netflix you know and it's pretty cool it's a pretty good show but we also have video games we have you know comic books you, you have seen this uh transformers develop into a multi-billion dollar franchise that has so many different sides and so many different storylines and so many different interpretations and the art changes and i love that i love that about transformers it's unique it's a it's a rich world full of depth and i feel that xm is capturing that so well with these pieces and uh, it is not for everyone not everyone can afford these pieces but if you can definitely you must have them in your collection but what is your opinion what do you think are you a fan of these let me know in the comments below so once again my friends thanks for watching god bless take care and i'll talk to you again bye, -bye.